All right. This thing on. Hello out there. Here I am, Shreya. Well, that's not me. That's darn dog. But here. Uh, good to see you all. I'm uh, darn sorry. Sorry. So I'm putting this on because uh, I just went to go wash my hands, get some fresh air, and uh, I think I mentioned. <clears throat> excuse me. Thought I mentioned. Um, uh, was it last week? Yeah. So I mentioned last week that <laughs> uh, mentioned last week that uh, I don't know what what the schedule is going to be. Uh, I know what it is for today and tomorrow, but I don't know what it's like for next week. So, in the off chance I have to teach with a mask on, I thought I should practice teaching with a mask on. So maybe I'll do this for about. Hey Siri. Will you set a timer for five minutes, please? Okay, five minutes and counting. So I'm gonna practice for five minutes. Uh, wearing this, I should probably get, eh, tomorrow I'll do more. Um, so, hello out there. Welcome to what might be the last math live stream. Uh, this might be the last math live stream. At least, all right, might be the last one. Well, uh, I wanna thank, Thank uh, all of you out there for to, those of you who tuned in every day. Great job for, or every week for math. Uh, I want to thank Sev um, for calling in on those days. That made that. Uh, oh, Sammy! Sorry. So, uh, so Sev calling in really, really made this um, made this a lot, this experience a lot better than it would have been if I was all by myself. Just me and Darn Dog and poor Sandy here. Um, I also, though, I also want to thank um, Coach Renee, who might be out there now. Uh, this would not, this would not have nearly been as effective if uh, if I had to do all this by myself and Darn Dog, because when I do this live stream, when we're done. We break up, right? Like half the class goes with Coach Renee, or a third go with Renee, a third go with me, and then a third you're kind of working by yourselves. Um, but today I thought we would do half and half. Uh, so if it says TBD on the schedule, that's it just occurred to me we're going to do half and half. So blah, blah, blah. Change is coming, etc. cetera. Uh, this, what Darn Dog was staring at earlier. So this is a picture of a. Uh, of a robot, and the robot's driving a bus. Right. Oh, and some of you might, some of, one of my one of my favorite picture books is uh, "Don't Let the Pigeon Drive the Bus." Well, that's not a pigeon. Okay, the robot, the robot actually has a very kind of shocked look on its face. I don't know if you could see that, but um, so it's funny. My my idea. So today's math. What we're gonna do is I'm gonna give you six vehicles. We're gonna draw six vehicles. We're gonna write down how fast they drive. Actually, that's the second part. Six, six vehicles, how many kids they can hold. Because for our board game, you're going to be, you're gonna be in charge of robots helping people. One of the robots has to be a robot that evacuates people from a, from a crisis, right? So this robot, uh, you can't, I don't know if you can see it, but it's one, two, three, four, five. Oh, so actually seven. Oh, so seven vehicles. The first, oh man, this is itchy. So this vehicle can hold one, two, three, four, five kits. So I don't know what to call this. Um, call it call it the mini blue bus, because we don't have this one yet. Uh, mini, mini blue bus. Okay, so that's five people. All right, so let me show you what I'm talking about. So on a, doesn't have to be fancy. <clears throat> it just has to be, uh, so take a, oh, make it blue, how about that? So I've got a bus, right? And the wheels of the bus go round and round, out and out, and then went up and down. All right, so you got the robot, <clears throat> one robot, whoa, whoa, that's an eraser. 
one robot. And uh, there could be four. I'll do red, red for um, red for the kids. So it'll it'll say whoa, it'll red. Oh, Jesus, man! All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Doesn't have to be perfect. You just have to get a uh, get a bus like that, and the bus. Oh, the one thing I haven't figured out yet. Any of you have family members who wear glasses and a mask? If they have a mask that really works for them, can you ask them what it is and then email me that? Okay, yeah, Tens and Namgyal, good. Mini blue, yeah, let's call it Mini Blue Bus. And the Mini Blue Bus is, wow, please start. I was one minute late. Man, kids are really used to punctuality. All right, so we'll call this MBB. So M. Mini blue bus can transport. Oh, good. Oh, goodness. Ah, that was five minutes. Man, I just want to itch my nose for five straight minutes now. Ah, wow. All right, so mini blue bus. <laughs> oh, okay, so five kids. Um, you know what? Let's just do the speed now. So here's the thing, for the blue bus, <coughs> the blue bus is not big. It can't go very fast. So it only goes 30 miles an hour, I think. No, that's going to go faster. I just made this one up, so I don't know how fast this is going to go. But you know this for sure. Mini blue bus, five. Five, uh... Kids, all right, five kids. Not 5,000 kids, ha ha ha, a thousand joke there. Uh, no. So five kids for the mini blue bus. All right, next. The next let's go real big. You wanna know the biggest, um, the, the biggest bus? We're gonna have a robot, an evacuation robot. This evacuation robot is gonna carry, is gonna drive, that's the biggest one. Oh, oh, there it is. So this is one of those double, I don't know if you've ever seen uh, shows that take place or a movie that take place in, um, in the United Kingdom in the UK. Uh, they have, they might have these in, in big cities like San Francisco might have it, maybe Oakland, they might have a, a tour bus. You know those double-decker tour buses? That's what this is. So I did a little research and the, um, the double-decker tour bus can hold 70. This can hold, so double, so two decker uh, tour bus. The abbreviations don't matter, just have to know what it is. So the double decker tour bus can hold 80 kids. No, yeah, 80, 80 kids, yes. All right, that's 80. 80, maybe I'll just erase the K. So, mini blue bus, five. The double deckers, uh, tour bus, 80. Uh, I remember there's gonna be seven. So, if you draw big like this, just be ready. So, 70, or no, 80. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. One, two, 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 three, two, four, two, five, two, six, seven, eight, two, nine, 30. 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37, 38, 39, 40, 41. Is that right? 80 people can fit in a sightseeing tour bus? Yeah, whatever. Oh, they're kids. Kids are small. All right, anyway, et cetera. 80. So what do we have now? So 5 and 80. No, I don't want to clear everything. Nope. But I do want to get rid of this. Okay, so there's 80 for the double-decker school bus. Um, next, let's go real small again. Uh, another robot. There's another robot. The robot can drive a, um, just like a family car, right? And the family car, this family car will only hold four. So the blue bus is five. Uh, the family car, the family car. I was for Coach Renee. I don't know if you remember that, Coach Renee. But that was a Sesame Street, maybe? All right. Ooh. 
worm family. They used to drive around and then they would say, let's all get into the family car. Anyway, one, two, three, four. Okay, so the family car, and we've got the robot here. Oh, that's not right. I mean, that is right. Okay, robot driving forward. So that, uh, we'll put um, the F seat for the family car. Family car has four, four kids. Um, okay. All right, so what's the hope? Any questions so far? I feel like it's pretty straightforward. You've been on a double bus before. Oh, alert bot, you got an alert bucket. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Wait, who's going? Lena, why'd you say bye? Huh? All right. So Shreya, that double bus, do you think that double bus could fit 80? I mean, it's pretend, so it can make it fit whatever we want. All right, we got the family car, we got the double-decker school bus, tour bus, and we have the mini blue bus. Uh, next, the next thing I want is, um, oh, how about like a city bus? I call this the, how would I call it, a AC Transit, right? So AC Transit bus, ACTB. So AC Transit bus is 70, um, can hold 70 kids, okay? AC Transit bus can hold 70 kids. Now, maybe some of you are wondering, what what are we gonna do with all this? Oh my God. What are we gonna do with all this info? Uh, this is kind of fun. This is kind of fun, I'm excited for this. All right, so, so far we have uh, four, right? 70, four, 80, five. Um, the next thing we need, <clears throat> oh, is a regular plain old school bus, like the yellow school bus. So I'll put YSV, whoa, where'd you go? So, whoopsie, I guess that's what happens if I tap it again. All right, so yellow school bus. <coughs> Yellow school bus is almost as much as AC Transit. <coughs> this one's the most. <coughs> but the Yellow school bus holds 60 kids. Now, sometimes you can order a larger school bus. The larger school bus is, is a 80, but for this activity, 60. All right. Got two more. <coughs> Oh, I know what it is. <coughs> Excuse me. The other one is um, uh, a sports utility vehicle. <coughs> so a sports utility vehicle is kind of like that mini bus you saw, only it um, it has more off-wheel drive or off-road, off-road drive and four-wheel drive um, capabilities. So the SUV, sport utility vehicle. Uh, for that, I have, uh, it'll hold nine, nine kids. And, you know, some of those SUVs, they have two rows. <clears throat> so what happens is, like, you can have four kids in one row, four kids in the back row, and then uh, uh, as long as you're tall enough and you're, you weigh enough, you can sit in the front. So that's why SUV can hold nine kids. All right, so far so good. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six, and here's the last one. <laughs> Early tell this is the one that makes me the happiest. All right, uh, those of you who took the survey, uh, do you remember? In addition to computer cap, there was something else. Anybody remember what that was? Is public and cars private? It can be, it can be. Um, so, oh, Lena, that's fine. Oh, I see what you're saying. So, Lena, you said bye because you're saying goodbye to the chat. Hello to live stream. Nice chat. Okay, so the um. In addition to computer cat, what else was there, everybody? <laughs> Sidecar dog. I don't know if you typed it. It's just not up yet. All right, so I found this funny image on, on uh, online. Um, this person, this person built a, a thing. Are you for real? I'm not going to miss this. I'm gonna miss teaching all of you, but I'm not gonna miss this turning off um, in the middle of my lessons. All right, so sidecar. Um, the last thing is a sidecar, and the sidecar is on your bicycle, right? Get on the bicycle, 
And it, actually, it's a lot like this thing. So you get on the bike, and you're pedaling your bike, or the robot's pedaling, and the robot's pedaling the bike, and there's um, two, I'm gonna put, I think I put three. Yeah, the sidecar is three, and here, here's what it looks like. So you're gonna have the, the bike, the robot, the robot, right? And on the side, there's like three slots. Uh, the, the shortest kid in the front, medium kid in the middle, and the tall kid in the back. Okay. Actually, it's like this, like this kind of. So Sammy would be in front, and then the darn dog would be here, and like Lola the mongoose would be back here. And then we like, I'm the robot in this scenario. Okay, so why did I spend, how much time? Why did I spend 15 minutes talking about how many, um, how many kids can fit in uh, all these different vehicles? Here's why. Ocean View has 300 kids. In an emergency, how, how, in an emergency, if we had an evacuation situation, uh, what, hello? Um, if we had an emergency situation, how would we evacuate 300 kids if all we had at our disposal were those vehicles. So for example, uh, let's start with the biggest, right? That wasn't the biggest, the, um, the I forget the abbreviations. Oops. All right, so the city tour bus, or whatever we call that. Maybe I'll just give them numbers. All right, let's just erase everything. Yes, erase everything. Okay, let's start over. So the largest, right, the largest thing can hold uh, 80, right? Okay, so if we have, and again, we have to rescue, the goal is to rescue 300 kids, evacuate. We have to evacuate 300, 300 kids, and we only have like five hours, right? We have five hours to evacuate 300 kids. Uh, one, we can take the, right? We can take this, we can take this. Um, how many of those, oops, all right, so how many of the, the class, if we have 300, we're gonna need a couple, um, we're gonna need a couple of these buses. How many of these buses do we need? Next, the, um, the other thing we have, we have A, we have seven, right? A, B, C, D, E, F, six, seven, G, A, B, C, A, B, C, D, E, F, G, Gee, I'm having fun right now. Oh. All right, so we have 80 kids. We could take one bus. Um, oh, we could uh, combine A, it wasn't B. That other bus could hold 70, right? Where's the other bus? I thought that was 70. Yeah, the AC Transit bus. So the AC Transit bus, if we get, a, if we have these two, if you, if you have two of these, one of these and one of these, that's already 150. That's cool. 150. Um, so 150 is half of that, right? So anyway, um, the other video go 60 is next. Okay, school bus. Um, C is school bus. School bus is 60. Now, if all we had, let's say we had. Ooh, how many of these? How many school buses do we need to get um, 300 kids out of to, you know, where it's safe? We need to evacuate them. Um, what was the next one down? I think it drops off significantly. So we go from 80 to 70 to 60, and then the numbers just go boom to nine. Yeah, wow. So we go from, we go from a double digit uh, evacuation numbers to single digit. I think there was the SUV was nine. The, what's the next one? Not the car, that's only four. Oh, that little minibus. The minibus was five? I didn't write the minibus down. I'll go to the smallest one. G, G is three, that's the sidecar. Darn dog and Sammy helped me with. Then from there it goes to four, that was the family car. Oh, the uh, the robot, the mini blue bus was, was five. What have I done here? 
Oh, that's right. Yeah, the mini bus was fine. Okay, so here we go. So what we need to do is we need to figure out all the different, nice. We had to, um, <laughs> um, we have to figure out all the different ways to, uh, to help these people, okay? So for example, if we have um, A, right? And I think A was the uh, city, just some more one. So A, oh, do this. Okay, so um, A is city tour bus, right? City tour, oh, tour bus. It's too, I think the sensor can't recognize it. Okay, in order to save, uh, if all we had were these buses, how many of these would we need? 80, um, so need, how about that? So we need, need how many? Okay. Uh, next, for, um, <laughs> oh, so many surprises. Wow, uh, city tour bus, the other thing was uh, AC transit. Transit, right? So this is, uh, I should get rid of city bus. I should just do tour bus. Tran transit, AC transit, um, would need how many? Uh, what else? AC transit, and the next one is, oh, regular school bus. Oh, yellow. I just like the mental image of the yellow school bus. Yellow school bus is 60, so how many of those would you need? Um, what else? Oh, so then we get down to the cars. And here, this is where this is where um, us teachers, you know, we, we grown-ups who have to organize field trips. Now you see why school buses are so helpful. Uh, if we have a single class, let's say we had 30 kids in room 201. 30 kids could fit on the school bus, so we could do two classes in a school bus. But 30 kids, if all you hold are nine in a car, you would need three, well, four. Three would only get you 27, blah, blah, blah. All right, so we have tour bus, how many? Transit, how many? Uh, this, how many? Um, okay, so what's next? Oh, how are we doing on time, actually? Oh, good, six minutes. Um, so we need to figure out, we need to figure out all of these, all these numbers, uh, D was a SUV, sport utility vehicle. Uh, this one is the uh, mini, mini blue bus. I want to thank that illustrator. I don't know who that, that person who drew that, in. that's a, that's a, I think it's a computer illustration of a robot driving a bus. I don't think it's a real thing yet. Uh, mini blue bus. Plus, mini blue bus. Bus. Mini blue bus. And then, uh, what I say? Four is the family car. And this is the thing. <laughs> this is the thing that gets me about the about the sidecar is I had this image because I made all this up and in my head I thought okay how many people because in the in the sidecar dog there's a picture of the dog <laughs> with goggles <laughs> there's a picture of the dog with like aviator goggles right and the dog is sitting in there with the aviator goggles on it's so cute I thought okay but then if there's only one kid in the sidecar, it's gonna take 300 dogs. I mean, three, I take, take 300 robots to drive the kids. But if I have three kids per sidecar, then goes in neatly, doesn't it? So this, uh, three, three kids in a sidecar means all you need is a, all you need is a hundred, a hundred, um, Robots pedaling sidecars. I also just like the image too of like a robot pedaling a sidecar um, with a kid in there. 
One, two, three, four, five, six. All right, last but not least, this is, uh, okay, I'm really going to shoot for the moon here. This, and, and Coach Renee, if this part is too much, I apologize. But I wanted to get this last one out there, too. Do you know, uh, what are we doing here? Family car and then uh, side car. Side car. I'm going to put side car slightly. Because slightly, cycle. Sidecar cycle. cycle. Motorcycle, bicycle, I don't know what to call it. But it's a robot, so. Okay, so here's the speed. Ready? All of these things move at different speeds. And uh, all you have to do, to be honest, all you have to do is just make a little note. Okay. Okay. The vehicle, the vehicle that can go, A, a city tour bus, a city tour bus, can go, I just have to write it down in the order. Okay, so the family car can go 60. This one, four people, 60 miles per hour. Okay. Now we're gonna do miles per hour, that's gonna come into play later, I just want you to write it down for now. Um, next, uh, E, the one that's oh the, that bus. We'll come to the mini bus later because I didn't have I didn't have that planned out. Okay, the SUV. The SUV can really motor. The SUV can go ninety miles an hour. Nine. Ninety miles per hour. Now you don't want to drive at ninety miles an hour because you don't have your learner's permit yet. Your family doesn't want to drive at ninety miles per hour because they'll get a speeding ticket. Robots can drive ninety miles an hour because. It's make-believe. Anyway. AC transit bus, that's the one that holds 70. That can go 60 miles an hour. Wait, I already have 60. Darn it! I wanted different numbers. Okay, the sightseeing tour bus is 50. You know what? I'm going to make it 70. All right. So that can go. It can hold a lot of people, but can only go 50. Doesn't hold much people. It can go 90. Four people go 60. Um, the school bus. I think the school bus can go 80. Why do I have the school bus going 80 miles an hour? Because it's a robot and it's it's make believe. All right. So the did I say 50 miles for that? Uh, at the SUV. Oh yeah, I said the SUV was 90. The uh, AC Transit bus was 60. Okay. I think that's what I did, 60 miles per hour. Because I wanted this to have an advantage. Because this can have 70 people, which is less than that, but it can go faster. This can go 80 miles an hour, I'm sorry, 50 miles an hour, which is slower than 60 miles an hour, but it has 80 people. So, trade off. Now, I wanted this to not be at two 60s. What if that's 70? Okay, change my mind, that's 70 now. The, uh, the side, what? That's the family car. The family car can go 70 miles per hour. And what's number five? What's the one that can hold five? Oh, that's the, the minibus thing. How about the minibus go? Why am I agonizing over this? It doesn't matter. None of it matters. You know what? That minibus is gonna, is gonna just Blast, it's gonna go 100 miles an hour. All right. That minibus can go 100 miles an hour. The yellow school bus should not go that quickly. Oh, how about that go, do we have 80 yet? Yeah, let's do that. Let's say the math, the, <laughs> it's a magic school bus. Oh, cracking up, folks. That's what happens. Sometimes when you're stressing out, people either laugh or cry. I was crying earlier, so I guess I'm laughing now. All right, that's everything. Oh, the bicycle. Here's the thing about the bicycle. You ready? I ride my bicycle. The fastest I can go is like 20, I once got up to 26 miles an hour. And I was like, push it really hard. Nope.
on behalf of Mr. Corcoran and Sammy the Steel, I want to apologize for the projector. Don't know what's up with that thing, but what are you going to do? I think he might be crying. Anyway, next you're going to check the assignments page. Double check how many kids can be transported using those vehicular arrangements. Mm, mm, I guess that's it. Mm, yeah, I'm sure going to miss this. I don't know what's going to happen next. We don't know, but from Sammy, Mr. Corcoran, me, uh, see you later.